Hey everybody, and welcome back to Devil May Cry HD Edition. Um, in between parts, Hype has jumped ship to get the to act, get the right pizza this time. So oh, it's just gonna okay. be the three. It's just gonna be us three schmucks to uh, carry over for a little bit until he gets that pizza. However, he Alrighty. is getting my pizza this time. That that's actually is not a bad impression. Cause are you sure you're Dante, already... or are you you sound more like a Virgil to me? That is Virgil. It's, that's what I was saying. That oh, I was saying, it sounds just as, sounds just about as nasally and nerdy as one. <laughs> anyway, oh gosh, that staff was all that was keeping no, the ship afloat. Okay, I I, I I you guys might joke, but I fucking love Virgil's voice. I'm sorry, Daniel Southworth does a great job. I'm sure he has fun with the role. It's just that I can't get over the fact he sounds so goofy. And thus, the entire ship has sunk. And actually. If I was honestly not going for any collectibles, which I'm still going to go for some collectibles, welcome to the shortest mission in this entire game. Literally. Yep. All we You've have to do is just escape ship. the ship. Get out of here. Thankfully, there's no time. But don't worry. Yeah, because we're a demon. We can breathe under. We can breathe under. You think we can't breathe underwater? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, um, I do believe there, there's a, supposed to be a secret mission here, and, and if it is, it's all. I think it's all one of the more creepier ones. Is that just me? It is, do these it, demons just seem to hurt themselves? Those are the blades, and what they do is they shoot out red. They can't hurt themselves, but they but they're blades. They're swimming underwater, and yes, I am going to show off that secret mission. It is kind of creepy in its setting and the tone, but both that and this is actually pretty easy. Oh yeah, it's, no, they're. It's, I'm not saying that they're not easy. It's just that you look at it's it's honestly something that if you're an aquaphobe, you're gonna. Hey hate this Dante, part. you could go through one of those cannon holes. They're pretty big enough. No? Shush, I okay. want to kill things. That's ah, fine. I can breathe underwater. Yeah, so yeah first somehow. off, go, don't first off, don't go to the exit. Go here, and there'll be a blue orb just kind of waiting for you. And uh, oh, there al it is. also, pretty. also to uh, for the sentiment that uh, that James said, and also uh, to basically, in the words of Markiplier, "Fuck the ocean." <laughs> but but he managed to beat all of Subnautica. Yeah, but even then, every single episode, at least once, he said, fuck the ocean. Every single uh, gosh, episode. These I, 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 take, I take it Mark is a huge aquaphobe. Oh, you have no idea. Okay, if that's the case, like... that's, that, it's, it's reasonable for him to just say, fuck the ocean, every other time. I know, I, I know Danny from Game Grumps hates like, the idea of sharks and underwater in the ocean. Yeah, no. Which is, I... which, is, which, is, which is funny, considering that when you think about it, sharks are actually pretty um, passive. I'm the video game boy! I'm the one who wins! I thought you were gonna say, I'm the video game boy, I'm the one who swims. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm the Olympic. Again, again. I'm the Summer again, Olympics any... boy! I'm the one who swims! Again, at any point in this room, I could have just swam out the exit, but I just wanted to get everything. But yeah, once you get to this room, you can really just beeline it and bam, mission's over. I'm the, I'm the underwater enemy! I'm the one with fins! Oh jeez, <laughs> that's good. That's a good. That's one. actually yeah, no, I, really I, good. But I, but I but I genuinely think you could beat this mission in less than two minutes. Oh, right? how about we go back? My my you can go all the way back to the captain's quarters and examine his grown corpse. My welcome to a secret mission where we just have to kill a bunch of blades. But the arena is some weird, vague underwater labyrinth. Welcome oh, to Jesus. Jesus. This scares me. No, uh, but all I can. <laughs> My absolute favorite of those, of the I'm the one who wins, will always be Danny going, I'm the angry boy! I'm the one who seeds! <laughs> just the tone on that was, was just harsh. Yeah, like you look at this this whole arena, it's like, at, you, you expect at least one point, just some giant undersea. Oh, geez, no, no, don't, don't, no, you. don't put that in my head. Do not put that in my head of like, <laughs> do not put that in my head of like, you're just like, because. Now this is scaring me because like the idea like finding <laughs> and to, these little and blades left, is not find Jabu Jabu about to eat your dead like ass. finding these little bla finding these little blades aren't the problem but imagining just being in here alone and then in your peripheral vision seeing something large swim past you like imagine those imagine those shipwreck sharks from Alice Madness Returns actually okay, actually okay, but isn't I, that Unagi over there no actually but I okay I actually do like. I go like, oh no, ah, ah, oh, it's a whale shark. They're incredibly docile, cool. But they can still, like, eat you and, like, completely hold. I mean, yeah, yeah but I mean, whale sharks are docile. Thing, as long as you're not bleeding, like, sharks really won't give a shit if you're no, in no. water. Whale sharks are very different from sharks. The, uh, whale sharks are practically, like, I think they're, like, They're much more like, whale than shark. 
Aren't they like herbivores almost? Yeah, per, well, kind of. They still eat meat. They have no teeth. But, yeah. They have like zero teeth, though. And they're massive. And there you go. There we go. All done. Honestly, honestly, to me, one of the creepiest fish is the sunfish. Just imagine a massive... Okay, big. okay. Uh, my ex, who I'm still friends with, she Wait. fucking hates sunfish. Not that she's scared of them. She's nowhere near afraid of them. She just fucking you know, hates sunfish like they're nobody's dorky business. They're just dorky looking. And, 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 no. kind, somewhere, <laughs> and, and kind somewhere in the corner literally <laughs> shedding a tear. No, no, mm. no joke. Like, it's basically like me and Blathers. We don't know why. We just absolutely fucking hate... She absolutely fucking hates sunfish. Also, wow, I never, I just I never realized that sunfish were that huge. Yeah, no, no, they oh, get, yeah. like... Uh, they're at this one... That, at would this really one explain, of, that would really explain why Kynes this shape, the, the size he is compared to Kirby. There's this one aquarium that uh, that's near my house, and I saw hey, one... Insulting and his aquarium. weight isn't very kind of you. And the aquarium is literally, and the aquarium is li the, the aquarium, the, the, the sunfish that's in the aquarium is literally like fifteen feet, to, like from fin to fin. Oh yeah, no, uh, I I actually I kind of like sunfish. They're the dumbest animals in all of existence, aside right, from that's, koalas. Right, so, ne so, but. so backing up, what did I do all this for? Like we so we got oh no now I remember so the staff of Hermes. Uh, if you remember, on the other side of that, on the other side of that bridge that collapsed behind us, back in the castle area, where remember we fell into the, I fell underwater, had to fight uh, those yeah, Sargasso and skulls. So on the giant pedestal, it said that it wanted me to bring it the staff of Hermes. And now that I finally got it back from the pirate ship, it's time for me to walk through this totally non booby trapped hallway and get back to the castle yeah. so that I can pre so that I may present it the staff of Hermes and hopefully start gaining access to the underworld where I can fight Mundus. So basically, you're making the world's deadliest second trip. Yep. Yep. But to be you fair, we are demon hunters, so who gives a shit? Yeah, I mean. I mean, barring the fact that, well, this shit still hurts us, like, we can just phase through it, like, no problem. In fact, that's not, that's, right. a, I mean, <laughs> I understand it's for the sake of the game, but at the same time, it's like, and Dante, I'm, for the most part, is near, near immortal, and yet, you can still die from taking too much damage. And, and, an emblem shield? Is it a fire emblem shield? No, but it is going to be one of pain, which is why I activated Alistair, because I'm going to use my normal devil trigger state in order to run very fast because these guys oh yeah they, uh, well this is this is that odd thing this is that funny thing i'm just gonna talk about where dante almost has the reverse uh problem that most video games have uh most video games in the cutscenes, if something gets hurt in the cutscene, then they can die for real with dante if it's a cutscene, you could stab him in the head he's be fine but here those little knife things could kill you if you were careless enough in actual game and remember Actually, this used to be a resident evil like, prototype to be fair, yeah. to quote that uh, Mo to quote that Let's Destroy Metal Gear series, if this weren't a cutscene, I'd already be dead. That that is fair. Ouch. What are you? Unfortunately, to do? even Dante is is still susceptible to slip physics. Get a holy water under the waterfall. Like, oh, oh, it, oh like, thank goodness! I've, I've, I'm parched. Holy waterfall. But, but I'm gonna say right now that is an issue I have with the. I'm getting this out there right now. That is an issue I have with the Devil May Cry like level design in a nutshell. They're all very linear, and especially in the DMC reboot, there are instances where all right, you have two hallways. Which one is the one that progresses you towards the plot? Uh, I don't know. One progresses you to the plot. Another one leads you to a really good health pickup that you'll never get a chance to again. I. Is it this one? You take a step, door slams behind you. Oh, it looks like we won't be going back that way ever again. Yeah. Well, to be fair, that's that's kind of that's kind of why these games are aren't. Well, to be fair, this game pretty much emphasizes well, replayability, so that's kind of why they they think it, they think it's okay to do stuff like that. Yeah, but I guess. But here's also the thing: there, there. Luckily, this game has fallen victim, and this and its sequels have fallen victim to. A process known as the internet. Oh, geez, we're leaving. We are leaving right now. I ain't finding two of these things. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. We're not, no, Big we're old, not doing that. Nope. No, sorry, sorry, Shadows, we're not doing that part today. Well, you guys can leave. Yeah, we, we, we cut, we, we're not playing this game. Ba Damn. Basically, the air. Basically, <laughs> if you don't know where to go, the internet will tell you. Ooh, blood. Ooh, oh, a red orb token. 
just whack these things a bunch, and the more you whack them, the more red orbs you start Boom. getting in this combo. Bop, 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 bop. I mean, there's also the matter, like, you, you do say that, Matt, but that's also just also, that's also just a matter if you actually want to use walkthroughs for a game like this. Eh, yeah, but I do. I mean, I'll admit, I mean, I'll admit, fair, I you're also the same kind of guy that doesn't care that much for spoilers. That's... I mean, I'll admit, I, I'll admit, I used a walkthrough to help me figure out where blue orbs were and what, like, when I should use them. Yeah. And granted, I am also using a, I am also using a walkthrough to plan out which wounds I'm going to get during the Odyssey post game, uh, just because I, to... just because I want to get mm -hmm. that stuff done ASAP. To be fair right. with me, on Bay it, the biggest ones that I tend to use walkthroughs for are Bayonetta, so that I know. Oh where yeah, no, ba no, so... Bayonetta, I will, I'll, yeah. I'll totally sympathize with you because, because some of the. Um, some of the portals to Alfheim are fucking Muselfheim. Muselfheim. Well, oh, it's Alfheim in the first game. It's Muselfheim in okay, the second yeah. game. But no, I mean mainly two because Muselfheim. It's just like, all right, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a platinum on this, right? No, you only get a gold. What? Why is that? You missed three Muselfheims. I mean, okay. In all fairness, if you're not if you're not trying to 100% or get get, get get pretty much platinum ranking in all the stages, I think. At the very least, getting, getting finding all the Mufelheim portals isn't well, finding Mufelheim portals in general isn't nearly as bad as yeah. the Alfheim portals. Although, you can miss a good chunk of those. Yeah. Although, just like Devil May Cry, it also has the thing of it's very replayable in in which some Mufelheims and some uh, like is some things you can't even get without replaying. It. And hey, you but, know what? And hey, you know what? Bandit will always have one other thing over Devil May Cry. You can dress up as Princess Peach. Or Star, or Fox <laughs> McCloud, or yes. Samus Aran. Yes, but, but also, backing up. But really quick, it also has one other thing all over Devil May Cry. The platforming is ten times better. Oh, absolutely. Especially the but, second game. So backing up, uh, what do I want? I want, you know what? Get, might as well, ah, uh, crap. Stinger level two would be get nice, but I think. Did, did you already buy the double jump? No, no, not yet. That's the 4,000 one. I may... You know what? Let me get Meteor so I have, like, a ranged weapon. But, okay, I'm going to start I'm gonna start saving up for air. I still think next. it's got a whole bullshit and a half that the double jump costs so much. And it only works when you have Alistair equipped. Not right. different. So, anyway, backing up. So, now we've finally made it back to the Coliseum area. We're going to run... Oh, jeez. Spoilers! So, yeah. so, backing up, Burn, what we were talking about is that... A, a, another thing I don't like about this game's level design is the sense of... So as you just saw with some of those guy dang it blue orbs in the previous parts we were doing earlier, mm -hmm. like, the game clearly wants you to explore every nook and cranny, but it also times you and, like, punishes you if you take too long exploring every single cranny of this place. Well, again, ass assuming you give a shit about the ranking system in the first place. Matt does. Yes, I do. Actually. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Like, again, I mentioned that whole platinum thing. I actually do try to get platinums and golds in, uh... I... In I'll, I'll, I'll try in, to go for golds or platinums if I... I'll get... I'll try for golds or platinums if I can, but generally I really don't give a shit. The more, the only thing I really don't want to get off more often than not are stones. Fuck that shit. I feel, right, so now, I, it feels like I wasn't even trying. Yeah, but I so, do hate the absolute... I do hate how they insult you every time you get a worse rank. Like fucking. Well, uh, like, I, well, actually, let me let me it, let me correct myself. I I don't like getting stones during like the segments. When I I mean, I'll I'm kind of used to getting stones just for, for my overall stage ranking, just because I'll miss the and miss all those portals. Yeah, but when you finally defeat defeat, like when you finally beat a level. Oh, nice. Now we can light up a little bit around. The, now we can light up the dark a bit. But, so we're filling your heart dark with light. Uh, anyways. Yes. Uh, but no, like. <laughs> I I think one of my favorite insults that game does is for a goddamn silver rank, they'll still insult you and go, that might be good enough for the classified in the back page. Ouch. Or like, so or back... go, like that might be good enough for page 15. So another thing that I like that this game does is there is a purpose to what I'm doing here. So what I'm at, so the reason why I'm here at the Coliseum is because sure I have the staff of Hermes, but if you recall when we first entered this area, the the, the bridge back to the castle rose back up. Yeah. And there's no way I can get back to the castle unless I get something called like some spinny wheel of the wheel of destiny or whatever that will help unlock the uh oh, it'll help unlock the bridge back. Whereas in Devil May Cry 2 you kind of just start going places just because. Oh, just, this is a devil fountain. The way. This is a devil fountain. It automatically restores your devil trigger. Aye, we're devil may cry too. We're shit. I mean, 
again, I'm gonna do the whole game because I think we should show it off. Uh, you're supposed to use you're supposed to use uh, air ray to fly over here, but there is actually because the idea is that once you open, once you lower these platforms to get whatever is in this room, uh, the the chance of getting a blue orb fragment disappears. And again, there's no way you would know this unless you had a guide. So there, you either have to use air hike or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is a little exploit, which is. If you double jump just right, if you use the wall jump just right underneath the platform, you can actually get the blue orb to spawn. It just takes a couple tries, and there it is. There you go. Huh. Now I can activate, now I can open up the platforms, and now, so opening up the platforms requires me to go back and uh, hit these switches. But yeah, if you but if you hit these switches before getting the blue orb to spawn, it will never spawn again. Boy, it's weird. Like, it, well, like even it's if you replay weird. the level, or you have to replay the level. You have to like restart well, from chapter. You have to restart oh. the chapter. Well, if, if you couldn't do it, you couldn't. If you couldn't do it even after, even when you restart the level, then yeah, that'd be that'd be bullshit. That would be BS. But yeah, that is a thing. The game is, the game is interesting. I mean, I will say that having now played the first game, and I appreciate James letting me play the first game, even though I decided to immediately torture myself again by playing the second game. Hmm. I I did remember. I did have. I wasn't lying entirely. I did have memories playing Devil May Cry two. I just also have memories playing Devil, Devil May Cry one, and one of them just feels more solid than the other. Well, like, from start to finish. All right, these will let us into the Coliseum. However, because. However, if I... So there are two areas I could have gone into. The first one you visit always gives you the item you need. But if you take the time... Aw, oh, nuts. If you, but don't worry. These guys actually are super easy once I have the grenade launcher. Just oh, one fun. shot. All right. Uh, one shot. That grenade launcher is awesome. Uh, but if I... Ooh, you got a orb. Yeah, if I, 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 I... Honestly, I did notice that just sometime beforehand. It's just as well. Oops, one of those things you gotta, bad. Kind of glance over when you're fighting a whole bunch of... A whole horde of enemies. It's easier to see now that it's nighttime. Nuts. Uh, but now, th but if I take the time to go to the second hallway, uh, you will be rewarded with an optional gun, which can be pretty fun in uh, certain circumstances. Well, do we, do, we get to this gun. That, do we get to see that gun? Yes, I'm. I did. I said I was going to do all the guns and all the as many of the blue orbs as I could find, but all the guns. I don't even know if Matt knows about this gun. I probably forgot about it because it's been a very long time. That's fair. Uh, okay, we should talk about this. Uh, what consoles or what systems is the Devil May Cry HD trilogy available on? PS, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, Switch only has the first game for now. Yep. Okay. Which I do hope that we get the full trilogy because, again, I want to play DMC3 on the... I'm sure, if nothing else, they'll definitely put in DMC3. DMC two, I guess. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, I, 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 was gonna say, I was gonna say, I love, I love them. That's it. Yeah, I mean, we only have the one game, but I really hope they add the whole trilogy so I can play the other game and ignore the other one. Like, and honestly, should. and honestly, I'm just gonna say this right now. Looking back on it in hindsight, I'm starting to realize why they didn't release the entire trilogy on the Switch as it were. Because if they did, that would be a massive memory hog. Because because the first game by itself already takes up like nine to ten gigs. That is fair. I mean that's fair. I mean that then absolutely makes sense to make them separate. I just hope that they mark down the price to acknowledge that. Let me just yeah. say, if there's one thing that Capcom sucks at doing with Switch ports, I mean, granted their Switch ports are usually damn solid, but they don't do a damn thing about fucking memory optimization because a lot of them take up a lot. Right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that backing up what I want is that if they do this for Switch. They better do something where if you were to buy all three of them separately on Switch, it would be the same amount of money. Ouch. It would be the same amount of money than if you purchased the trilogy on PS4 or Xbox One. I don't want to see them trying to mark up the price somehow. Well, all, the well, way, the first, well, the first game on Switch costs like 20 bucks, so take that for what you will. All right. That's By the way, good. really quick, just that, so that, you that, say. That is, that, is, that is actually really marginally not good. Yeah. I will say, by the way... Uh, just imagine Dante here. Like, uh -oh. imagine Dante here. Oh, God, Miasma. Wait, wait. Anyway, imagine Dante here having uh, the same affinity to Spikes as Mega Man does. Oh, that would suck. The Nightmare Beta. There you go. Ooh. It's made of the same... It, it's apparently made of the same material as a enemy we'll be fighting later. Except this thing is a freaking laser gun. Ooh. And the thing that and the thing that makes it really fun in certain circumstances is that the lasers reflect. 
Ah, so it's the Gemini laser. So it can, in close quarters like this, it can just shred things. It's really great. I love it for shredding enemies. Actually, though, and... speaking, actually, though speaking of Mega Man, um, ironically, the one game that, one other game that Capcom released on the Switch that actually isn't that extensive in the slightest, Mega Man 11. It only costs like, it only takes up like two. Huh. All right, with that I mean, said, I mean, it's, that's a game that I feel like was kind of made with those, with that system in mind. So, mm -hmm. it, yeah. with that's, so with that said, let's get down to the end of this particular act. Let's open up these doors and get the heck in there. Yes, use the pair of lances. Jeez, you don't have to read out the whole narration. I know what I'm doing. Remember, devil. Remember, Resident Evil. I know. Prototype. So before I'm, a, I'm actually step amazed into... that they didn't have the doors slowly open. <laughs> Do Honestly, not that, step that would have shit. That would have shit the pace even worse. Do not step into the center of the arena if you don't want to die slowly just yet. <laughs> just first, yet. Jump first. First, step into the ring at the top. I'll be Alistair. And jump up, blue orb. Boop. There you go. Okay. Now, now we can we drop down, down and commence the killing. You got the blorb. Yay! The, something seeking my mind. Oh, the text should not have been white over this particular part. Yeah, of the that. Oof. So something. So uh, what it said is that we Hi, have to Griffin. perform a sacrifice. We have to perform a sacrifice to open up the path to the wheel of destiny. And oh, look, the sacrifice is just on time. Ah, good. Fresh meat for my pot. Hi, Griffin. Let's do it. Oh, no introduction? Fine. Let's just do what I've been doing since the beginning. Again, grenade launcher to build up devil trigger, and then air raid the sucker. But yeah, this is our final fight with him. Oh, geez, that angle's and this not time he actually, And this time he actually has floor to stand on, so he's just as much easier to, he's easier to pick than he did was last time. You point. know what? I yep. am still disappointed that, like, the only time he fucking talks to you is your very first fight. Well, he, he does. He, 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 he talks he, after he this. He talks during his death. Yeah, Right, true, but, but he does. I wish they they yeah. had more times to talk. Yeah, I it's mean, like they, I, it's actually, like, no, it's like they're nothing more than fresh meat at the end of the day. Uh, that's another thing we should talk about is that actually, like, when you really compare this game, is like this game actually is pretty tame compared to where the rest of the series ends up going. Oh, of course, like yeah. it's like it was the first go or something. Right, like it's not like it's not particular like. This game is definitely mature with what it does, but I wouldn't say it's, like, vulgar, like, where some of the other games end up going. Oh, no, like... Especially the reboot. Yeah. They, the, the, the most they really made Dante was just cool, and that's about it. Let's go up here. They didn't really go any further than that. He's just the cool guy. Get down, out. Get down from there. You're gonna hurt yourself. Actually, now that they know, he's more so the cool guy in a similar sense that Sonic is the cool guy in his series. For what that's there. Right. At least for the Oof. earlier games. And bam, I just freaking broke its wing. Oh, I love I love this bit. Or was it this bit I'm thinking of? Uh, you're, it's, it's, it's after. Oh, right wait, now wait, I that's just, right, he's not right, dead. Right, right now I just broke its wing, so now he ain't flying Oh, that's anywhere. not fucking right. breaking, that's fucking removing his wing. Oh, jeez, you're right. He tore off his wing. I, uh, I guess yeah, he's now, not gonna be too happy about I that. guess now Griffin just oh, has gosh. to wing it. Jesus. Now he's going into his inner meta with like... Oh jeez. Just keep an eye out for it. Yeah, I thought it was. Like, I always thought like we had ripped. The, I thought we broke the wing, so it's like ripped, you know pointed to the back. No, I think I kind of see it a little bit, but off. Just... dang. Yeah, not even, not even... Been... yeah, you think it, maybe I it could have been worse? Could have well, sends the wings. I think that I think that Griffin really considers that a rip off. Jesus, you can't do two of those, dude. You can't. Why? I'm That's just I'm many. just arming myself with these puns. Okay, Matt, anyway, you get, he's okay, dead. okay, Matt, you get on that center pedestal with Griffin now. These puns have got to end right now. <laughs> Never. You just and stand right there. And so oh, we, hu we we humbly offer our noble sacrifice, and then immediately gets oh, pegged. Oh, no, I, yep, I he ain't moving. That. I love that. You ain't so much. Just, you ain't like leaving. It, it, seriously, oh. it seriously looks like something straight out of your typical JRPG sort of thing. Then all of a sudden, pop! It's like I'm going to. Earth. Yeah, I agree, man. That's, That's the kind of stuff I love in these kinds of games. It, it, honestly, it gives me a very similar feeling to the ending of 3D, Mario, Super Mario 3D Land, where Bowser's just dramatically falling as usual, then all of a sudden a bit of some debris just knocks him unconscious. Just oh. Beautiful. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's gonna try... Also, I just realized, yeah, Griffin's f mouth is formed of, like, multiple eagle beaks all forming to the center. I never yeah, noticed that. That's really cool. Yeah, Oh, uh, yeah, and now we're real to Mundus. 
the three eyed demon. And Ooh, Mundus honestly, does not. Trying his Andis to sound like Doctor Claw. And Mundus does not take performance reviews well. Uh, I guess I'm a bird brain to him. Uh, but this is the part where James and I are all like, Mundus clearly has power. He just vaporized a demon. Mundus, your arch nemesis, right there. Do it. He's right. kill him. Kill Dante. He's right there. To be he's fair, right Mundus doesn't think he's worth it at this moment. But thankfully, Mundus basically did our job for us because because well, to, be through... fair, to, be, to be fair, Griffin oh, is kind of kind of dead anyway. Hey, Trish, where the hell have you been? Minding my own business, you asshole. Maybe. I just realized she's taller than Dante. Yep, she always she's always yep. been, or at least in this game. I forgot about that. Nothing. But yeah, but yeah, Mundus basically helped us out and did our job for us. He just completed the sacrifice. So with that, well, the path to the wheel of the destiny is f actually no. Now I think about it, no, I don't even think it is the wheel of destiny. The what hap The wheel of destiny is that giant statue thing. He just happened to be in the way when the doorway was opened. In the name of my father, I will kill Mundus. Uh, don't you mean your mother? Your mother? Well. Uh, yeah, his father, right. his father stood up to Mundus, and Mundus has always been his father's like best rival. So, yeah, true. And she just oh. leaves, and she just leaves us again, just like that. Get on I mean, the it's not like we, oh. It's not like we. It's not like your help wouldn't have been okay. appreciated or anything. Just saying. You know what they should have Get done? Actually, the... have a blue orb down there, Psst. so that if you nice. accidentally Get, fall, <laughs> you okay, find Dante, the blue come orb. on, you can do it. There you go. There, jeez, <laughs> I hate platforming in this game. Ugh, tell me about it. And with it that, was, it, we it was rough in its early days. And with that, we have attained the Wheel of Destiny, and now we're actually getting fairly close to the end game. Now we have, now we can just get back to the, we can back to the castle, use the Staff of Hermes, and hopefully make our way to the underworld. And let's see your yeah. performance evaluation. A B for Bird. Wait, not, <laughs> not bad. B for bird. Wait, not bad. But Mundus does not like it. He considers you a failure. Therefore, I was imagine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mundus. I'm sorry. Freaking uh, Trigon did it better. You're not wrong. Frankly, Mundus, I can't, I don't. Frankly, my dear Mundus, I don't give a damn. Till next time, guys. Bye.